neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he shoved out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Seven yards there for the halfback, and he also picks up a new set of downs. It's a nice option play here by the offense. Running back took the pitch and got a nice gain to move the chain. Brought down at the 50. That makes it second and two. And they make the stop at the 50-yard line. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Fields the punt at the 13. He's tackled at the 19. You're always looking for the home run return. The big high line didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He steps out around the 24-yard line. That brings him second and five. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made the 37 yard line. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. He's going to try and scramble, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. They come up to the line here in second down and 14 after the sack. He's on the run, and down he goes, around the 36-yard line. What great concentration. He left his feet, made the catch, and managed to secure it when he hit the ground. That was just sensational. Yeah. 
Now he's scrambling. Tackle at the 41. That makes it second and two. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down at the 17. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Got it, and brought down immediately. And we'll take a break while the injured player is attended to. It's the ninth play of the drive. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Thundering Herd. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 80-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 7-0. And down he goes to the 19-yard line. Marshall's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Looking for his man, incomplete. Here's the case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Strike to his receiver, no good. Sails it long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Boy, this quarterback just continues to struggle. And that was a pivotal down. On third down, they're trying to find a way to get a first down. Another incompletion, and now it's fourth down. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the link to the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Quick pass. Marshall is up seven. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's tackled at the 30. Nice job here by the quarterback of putting some air underneath this pass and letting his receiver catch up with it for a nice game. Deep ball, laying it out there. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. From the 30-yard line. Second down. And a quick throw. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. We've played one quarter. 
Marshall leads 7-0. to the action now here in the second quarter. Quick strike and he drops it. So they don't pick up a first down here on third down, setting up this fourth down. Now a smart decision here, in my opinion, by a coach, is to get points. You don't want to take too many calculated risks here when you're trying to go for it all the time on fourth down. Get the points while you can. It's up. And he nails the long field goal. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 32-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They'll get him for a loss. The quarterback decided to pitch it on the option, but the back had nowhere to go. Just a perfect defensive scheme for stopping that. They got to the option before it got to them. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 29. Quick throw. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Big hit there to stop him. And that was a really well-played series by the defense. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He makes it to the 28-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Over the middle to his tailback. Good tackle there in space. That'll make it second and seven. Scrambling around. Brought down at the 31. He scrambled. And they got him. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Gets out to about the 45-yard line. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Has some daylight. Tackled after a decent pickup. to about the 41-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. 
He gets out to about the 35-yard line. And he stopped behind the line. Loss of three. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That makes it fourth and eight. So they're going to go for it here. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's pushed out of bounds at the 21. Did you see how calm he looked as he stood back there and read the defense? When you know what you're doing and what should be happening, it makes things a lot easier. From the 21-yard line, first down. Complete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. And this play is number eight on the drive. Flips it middle to the running back. What a play, and that is first and goal. Really a nicely thrown ball, and a good job by the receiver to run right under it. It's first and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. This is the 10th play of this drive. He's scrambling. He's tackled in the open field. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. On the pass, touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. They call it a catch, but the boots signal down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. That's a review play. The rule on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Trying to get within a field goal, they'll try the point after. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Marshall is up by three. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. Receiver and he dropped it. From their own 27 yard line. Third down. Yes. 
He makes it to the 28-yard line. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Spikes the ball. From the 30-yard line, second down. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. We played a half and a 10-10 tie in this game. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect, and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Well, we welcome you back to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 43. Good, solid return that time. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He's got it with room to run. Tackle made right around the 50. That's a D of seven. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And down he goes to the 38-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. That's a That makes it first and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. up the screen tailbacks got it he's taken down around the 20 yard line flag down and i'm not sure First when it was thrown let's find out offense so they'll move back after Still that costly down. penalty and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here so it's second down and long now after the penalty
Dumps it complete. The tight end over the middle. Tackle at the 27. Slings it. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Marshall is looking to go up by three. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalked up three points for the offense. 13-10, Marshall. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he's taken down at the 24. That's a game of three on play. That makes it 37. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Second and 10, ball on the 39-yard line. And he is drilled at the 49. He makes it out to midfield. He might have a chance. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Makes it out to about the 34-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Shot, the defender tips it away. Well, that's one effective way to slow these guys down. Getting a hand between the ball and the receiver. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at the 29. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Marshall holds a field goal lead. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And they finally bring him down at the 43. He's on the run. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. Shoot, shoot, shoot. 
He's going to try and scramble. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. Very good tackle in space. Throws out to the back, and he can't hold on to it. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Grabs it and hammered right there. So at the end of the third quarter, the Thundering Herd lead 16-10. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. Still a lot of football to go here in the fourth quarter, but if they score here, they give themselves some breathing room. Marshall with a six-point lead. and he's got his man and he hits him hard at the 42. He steps out around the 38 yard line. That makes it seven and six. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle made around the 31 yard line. Pass is tipped away. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. From the 31 yard line. Second down. Fires it out. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. Caught open field. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 18-yard line. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 13 yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. 
That'll make it second and four. Quick throw, and he's got the fullback again. He's taken down at the 13. Marshall, up six. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle around the six-yard line. Just throws this one away. From the six yard line, it's second down. Just outside the goal line. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kick is up, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the three. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The defense shut him down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. Just under two minutes in the game. Quick pass, and he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Quick throw, out of bounds at the 45. the grab and out of bounds. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48. He goes downtown. Missed him. He was a little erratic on that pass, but there's no denying that he can really hum it in there. Zips it to the back, and he's leveled at the 42-yard line. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. Just about three yards there. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. So they're going to go for it here. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he tackles him hard at the 26-yard line. Tulsa will take their second time out of the half. And this play is number eight on the drive. We have less than a minute to go. He's 
tackled around the 17 yard line. The spike will stop the clock. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. Wait a second. They put the points on the board, but they might have to take them down. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the six. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Number 25. We're at the 12th play of the drive. That makes it 30 more. Quick throw. That's a great tackle at the two. Quick throw in the end zone. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. Marshall's going to use their first time out of the half here. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. The onside doesn't bounce their way, but, you know, give these kids some credit. They fought hard all the way down to the wire. Wow, what a great football game. We've been very lucky to see such a hard-fought battle. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Tulsa's out of timeouts. Marshall holds just a two-point lead. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. 1917, Marshall. The Golden Hurricane. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.